Okay, in this video we're going to talk about multi-step conversions using unit prefixes. Remember, unit prefixes are those things that go in front of units like milli and micro and nano and giga, which just tell us how big or how small the unit is. So, as an example, micro meters is an example of a unit prefix in front of unit, and we know that micro means 10 to the minus 6, so a micrometer is a 10 to the minus 6 meters, so that's what I'm talking about. And the kind of problem we're going to be working today is what happens if somebody asks us, oh, say we've got 827 gigameters, and we want to convert that to kilometers. Um, so there's a problem. We've got one unit prefix to another unit prefix. Now, you can look at those unit prefixes and be like, well, gig is 10 to the ninth, kilo is 10 to the third, so they're about 10 to the sixth apart, and do it like that. And that's one way to do it, but I think a better and kind of more uh, safe way is by doing it the long way. We're going to do it in two steps. And when we look at that, and the reason we're going to do it in two steps is I'm going to set up my conversion as if I was doing it in one step. So remember, we always put what we're starting with on the left, what we're ending with on the right over there. We put a set of parentheses to say, hey, I'm going to put a conversion there. We need the kilometers on top because it's on the top in the end. We need the gigameters on the bottom so it can cancel like that. And we look, and if you really look and say, do I know the conversion between gigameters and kilometers? And the answer is no. I could calculate it, but let's go ahead and calculate it in a more methodical way using the two-step method. And so I look at that and I say, well, that's not going to work, so I need a plan. Well, what do I know how to get do with gigameters? Well, I know how to convert that to meters. And then meters, I know how to convert to kilometers. So I'm going to do a two-step plan where I first convert gigameters to meters, and then I convert meters to kilometers. So I've got my 827 gigameters here. My first step is going to be to convert that to meters. And you're like, well, I don't know where the meters go. I, I can't quite figure that out. Well, figure out where the gigameters go, and the meters have to go in the other spot. That's one way to do it. And since gigameters is in the numerator over here, we know it's got to be in the denominator here so that when you multiply it out, it cancels. Right? We don't want gigameters anymore. We want meters. Oh, well, that's what we put in the numerator there. I'm going to go ahead and leave those blank for now and go ahead and do my other set of units and then fill in my numbers because units are more important than the numbers. You can't get the numbers right unless by accident, unless you get the units right. So I always try to get the units done first. So what do we have? Well, we're trying to convert from meters to kilometers. Again, if you can't remember where things go, let's look at that. Well, meters has to go down here so that when we multiply it, it cancels out. Well, then there's only one space for kilometer to go. It's got to go on the top there. So that's what we do. Now we've got to put in numbers. So we go back over here to giga. We remember that the definition of giga is 10 to the ninth. So we know that one gigameter is 10 to the ninth meters. And so we copy that up here. The 10 to the ninth is attached to the meters. The one is attached to the giga. And that's how we do it. On the kilometer side, we remember that kilo is defined as 10 to the third. So a kilometer is 10 to the third meters, and we can put a 1 and a 10 to the third there. Now if you go ahead and type that in your calculator, you've got it 8.27 times 10 to the second, so that's what 827 is, times 10 to the ninth, so what's 10 to the 11th, minus 3 is 10 to the eighth, and I've got 8.27 times 10 to the eighth kilometers. And so that's how you're going to do a two-step conversion. So let's do one more example and see how we go. So we'll scroll that one up there and get rid of it. And uh, we'll go like that. <coughs> and let's go ahead and do a second example. And here, let's go ahead and take 1.43 times 10 to the third nanometers and go ahead and convert that to micrometers. And again, you might be able to figure out that between nanometers and micrometers, there's a 10 to the third difference, but let's do it in a more methodical way. I encourage you to pause the video right now, try it yourself, and then restart the video to see if you're doing it right. You good? Okay. So we're going to take what we start with over here, times 10 to the third nanometers. This is what we're looking for over here. And again, we know just from experience now that we're probably not going to be able to do this in one step. So our plan is to go from nanometers to meters to micrometers. And so we're going to do this in two steps. 
What are those in the bottom? It's got to be nanometers because we want those to cancel, which means meters has to go in the top because, again, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for meters in that middle step. Okay, and then in our second conversion there, what's got to go up is, well, micrometers has to go in the top because that's what we're trying to get to. Meters has to go in the bottom because we're trying to cancel it out. And then we can put in our numbers. Well, what do we know about nano? Nano is defined as 10 to the minus 9th. So 1 nanometer is 10 to the minus 9th meters. Now, in this problem, I'm also going to show you in a different way, the way I think about it. I think about, well, nano is really, really small. And it turns out if you divide both sides by 10 to the minus 9th here, and do a little math, what you figure out is there's 10 to the positive 9th nanometers in 1 meter. And I just personally like that better, even though the definition is 10 to the minus 9th. You could use that. But I'm going to use this one in this case, that there are 10 to the 9th nanometers in one meter. Lots of little tiny nanometers in one big meter. Same thing for micrometers. I remember that it's defined, that's the second time, uh, it's just defined as 10 to the minus 6. So a micrometer is 10 to the minus 6 meters. But I can also divide both sides by 10 to the minus 6. And then you get that there are 10 to the positive 6 micrometers in one meter. And so I'm going to write a 10 to the positive 6 here, a 1 down there, and let's see what we get. We get 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 6, well that's 10 to the 9th, divided by 10 to the 9th, and you get 1.43 micrometers. So that's how we do our two-step conversions. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks.